Oh. I think Pickers just didn't know which way to go. Clint Boyer in trouble. Here's the 17 car involved. Vickers involved. And our points leader, Carl Edwards. Oh, heavy contact. Stephen White head on with the 17 car. Behind him. That's a big hit. One of them run, one's running wide open, the other's trying to get out of the way and slowing down. Most Amarola can get sideways. Then Lamar comes in on the two cars, spins out. Then Sauter and McMurray. Sauter took a turn two. Oh, there's a car sideways already. That's Taylor. Looks like he just lost it down there, right up in front of Whoa. everyone. You talk about threading a needle. Kenny Wall said that the Andretti car looks like it hit, excuse me, hit him toward the right front wheel off. And carry so much speed. Whoa. Oh, we got somebody oh. sliding up the Into fence. The wall. Brian Vickers. Vickers, the 2009 winner here, nearly came back yeah. down across the field and nose first into the wall. Well, he had that thing saved, Kyle, until it... Oh, oh no! What? No. Uh, Checkers. That was Junior, who hit Kyle Larson and set that off, it looks like. Oh, that was a hard lick right there for Ryan Reed. Yeah, give it 274 laps are complete. See if we can, there's the impact, spin, and then. The sideways in the rear end. Yeah, see, he's out of control. I mean, he loses it back there in the middle of the corner. Slides right up in oh. front of. Oh, Ooh. nowhere for Jerry Robertson in the 78 to go. Take a look at what happened, Benny. Never seen Ricky Rudd, just gets the car loose, go down in the corner, goes up the racetrack. And the 21 car is going to make contact in the left front. The 77 car is coming along. He and Hutch Trickland make contact. That's where Hutch got the damage to the Circuit City car. And this happened after that wreck. In front, after this all happened, and you see these guys get together. And, oh, my goodness. You see the 88, 47 yeah. car of uh, John Wood. Yeah, John Wood thought he was through. See the 77 car of Blaney very, very high. So, obviously, something had happened beforehand. And... Oh, man, this all starts there. I think Terry got hit in the back to start that. Oh, look at that. Man. All four wheels off the ground. Up in the air. And I think, this all, I think this all started from the result of McMurray getting sideways when Robbie Gordon drove on the outside of him going into turn three, and all a bunch of cars checked up. I'm not so sure that Dave Blaney didn't have a tire go down or something because he kind of got out of the gas and got up out in that outside. A lot worse from that angle for sure. That was a pretty hard, pretty hard lick. Ooh, that's a hard, hard impact there. Right, but it was a, it was a extremely hard impact, and I saw oh, the uh, hit carry right in front of the driver, and I just that scared me. So uh, I hear he's he's okay. He walked out of the car, so that that's the good news. I mean, that's that's all that matters. It's not about anything else other than Gary's all right. So. What was that? What was, was that all about? Dropped in off corner number two. And we see Mast is spinning back up in the corner as he comes back across the racetrack. And Lance Hooper says, hey, well, it's closed on the bottom. Oh, but when he got there, they absolutely met head on. And then Hooper into the inside wall. Hmm. That little casual contact just sends, you're loose in anyway. And now you get a little bump and it just sends the car around. Boy, it wasn't much of a bump, no. but it didn't take much. Boy, look at that 90 car. That thing went airborne. Yaley squeaks by in the grass. Yeah, I mean, he's all the, all the way up on the outside. I, I don't know. It's hard to say what a driver's thinking, but I think the 43. Drives down to the corner. It looks like just had just tried to go to the bottom and just didn't quite have the 31 clear to Ben Kennedy. These guys came along with nowhere to go. Had no idea there was a truck going to slide up in front of them. See Kenny go around in the 21 car. Now here's where it gets ugly. He backs right out in front of Sterling. Nowhere for Sterling to go. Nowhere for Hubert to go. Look at Boyer. Snakes right through. Was doing. They had him running in eighth. Here's the problems behind him. See, you see that right there. Yeah. I mean, oh, the, the, man. 
But you see McMurray and those guys, they just ran over the debris that came out from under the, the 98 car when he, he blew the tire. Oh, oh, he's going to get loose. And sideways, Ryan Blaney goes. Does he keep it out of the wall? Brushes the back of that truck. Oh. And behind him, he gets hit hard. Johnny Sauter flew in there. There, and as he tried to correct, the 42 of Justin Marks is right there and sent him spinning. And pow, into the left. And the 87 car spins. He goes down, and what happens is you got to go back up. As he goes back up, we're right behind the sign, but watch as these cars come in there, and boom, Chuck Bound nails him. That's the 19 car of Tom Peck. Bobby Labonte goes down. There's 24 car. 34 car, that's Todd Bodine, the 100, 100 Jack car. That looks like a fuel fire, Benny. It and these guy, cars obviously were full of fuel because they had just... Seven in the backup car. It abruptly goes across the wall, into the wall, and he gets tagged. Nowhere to go by the 36 car. The uh, uh, other angle of it, up hard into that wall. Hard in that wall. Unbelievable contact in that wall. Fortunately, the car did not get up into the catch fencing as Bobby Allison's did several years ago. But boy, there is a lot of damaged race cars. But apparently, no driver injuries from this major accident that's brought out the red flag in the Die Hard 500 at Talent. I didn't know which way to tell because they weren't <laughs> They're finished. Over. Yeah. Look at David Green, also one of the other championship guys. He's right in the smoke right now. I think Gunsel Gunselman would have got away with that if Piffle hadn't been there. Yeah. Four have separated themselves. Sparks coming out of the nine. Oh. Up the racetrack. He goes. Contact is made. That 38 car just got fishtailing with David Gilliland, and he just could not hold on to that thing. And that turn two has been a tough one today. These guys are just getting aggressive in that turn. Just to pull it up in front of him. Oh, oh wow. Man. Oh. oh. What a man, what a bad break for Swindell, man. Bobby getting has such a good time of it. Man. That looked like uh, yesterday. We're done. We're done. My car is killed. He said all this while he's sliding to a stop. Beginning to spin and slow down. Dave Blaney and Shane Hall already together. And there came Tim Fedua. A hard hit. He ends up on his roof. Every driver is. And then the car, when, when Andretti went by, it just loosened the car up. And man, up the hill he went. And just slow. nowhere for Stanton Barrett to go. A couple of really, really hard impacts. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, there Bickles goes. around. And Earnhardt got oh, him. No. And up and over goes the 21 of Quaffle. Another Richard Childress car, and this one is upside down. Ninth caution, lap 183. See, Travis loses the front of his truck and chases it up the hill. There he is now. Just no control right now in the grass. And you, as you mentioned, he would have hit that outside wall completely head on if Johanna hadn't been there. But tough, tough break for her. Hard, hard contact. Look at the back of her truck. A lot of damage at the end of this race going to turn three. Well, Sadler got by Kenny Wallace going into the turn, then backed off, and I don't know, they just all started bumping each yeah, other. I think Pearson down on the bottom got into the back of Sadler, and that drove yep. him up into, into yep. Wallace. I, I think Hermie thought he was going to get in there. Boy, Travis is lucky. Yeah. And Wallace is going to take it coming on four. We've got a spin up into four. That is Terry Cook into the wall. Look out! Big hit. That is Tom Huber. Like he just didn't get slowed down. Oh, it's that 17 hit the inside. Ball. And look Houston, at Houston. Houston. Oh! Gets into Randy Tolsma, and he is still spinning wildly around into turn four. Everybody's going to miss the no. Big crash with Barfield. Best as they come out through here. Brett Bodine. Oh, that's Bobby oh, Hill down trouble. inside. There is trouble. Bobby Hill on 
and Unser get together, sliding through the grass in the infield. Unser's car back on the track. He gets it back down again. Kyle Petty is going to stop it. Oh, and Kyle go. Petty gets collected. Kyle tried his best to get stopped. He kept watching that car. Terry Cook just out in front of Bobby Hamilton. And again, Bill Lester spinning and problems. A hard hit. Joe Armendia involved in Chase Montgomery in the eighth. Having problems on the backstretch.